SJ. I'm Mary Harris from the Serpentine Charidale Food and Farm Alliance. Autumn is such a beautiful and abundant season in our Shire and today we're going to show you how to prepare a couple of simple healthy recipes using local produce from three of the regular stall holders who attend our weekly SJ Farmers Market. Joining me today is Alyssa miller mcwaugh from The Natural Circle. The first recipe we're going to make today is a Mediterranean inspired vegetable stew, ratatouille. After that, we'll prepare a scrumptious apple and rhubarb crisp. You can download the recipes from the Shire's website where you will also find a link to watch this video again. Let's get started with the ratatouille. I've heated up some olive oil in the pan, or I'm about to. Olive oil into the pan. I'm also going to add the onion. The garlic. And the bay leaf and we're going to let this saute for about five minutes while the onion gets nice and soft and that is Alyssa's olive oil from the natural circle so Alyssa tell us about your farm in Jaredale and how long you've been producing this wonderful olive oil <laughs> We are a uh, regenerative family farm in Jaredale and uh, we've been producing extra virgin olive oil for since 2011. Um, we lovingly hand pick it um, and within eight hours we uh, have it pressed in Jaredale. Yeah. Um, and it is uh, cold pressed and put through uh, into stainless steel vats to keep the acidity low. Um, and it's a very mild palate. So it's, it's a olive oil that can go with majority of um, uh, foods, foods yeah. and... Uh, well, that's terrific. Yes. Okay, so now the onion is nicely soft after sauteing for about five minutes over a medium heat. I'm going to add the eggplant, which we've already chopped up and cubed. And I'm also going to add the salt and the mixed herbs. Now here I'm using dried herbs, but you can also use fresh. We're just going to stir this, stir this around. And then I'm going to put the lid over this and let it simmer for a few minutes while the eggplant gets soft. All right, the eggplant has been sauteing for a few minutes and it's become nice and soft. And I'm now going to add the zucchini, the tomatoes, And the capsicum. I'm only going to use a portion of this because we're a little generous with our portions. And now we're just going to stir that around and let that simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. and put the lid back on. Alyssa, we have just had to use um, zucchini, tomatoes, yep. the capsicums. They all come from a local producer as well. Can yep. you explain about Blue Rock Farm for us? Elvie told me that Blue Rock Farm actually started out life as a market garden. But by the 1980s, the fruit trees they had planted had matured enough for them to turn their attention to developing the orchard. 
They now produce a range of heritage and heirloom varieties of fruit and vegetables that are sold at weekly at the SJ Farmers right. Market, uh, as well as many uh, other markets throughout Perth. They're a terrific institution in, in Jaredale. This really versatile dish can be served over soft polenta, rice and couscous. And you can garnish it with parsley or chopped olives. And I like to, when I'm feeling decadent, sprinkle over feta or goat's cheese. It's absolutely delicious. Now we're going to move on to everybody's favorite dessert. I have here a uh, chopped up rhubarb, which comes from Blue Rock Farm. We've sliced apples from Long Valley Farm. I'm going to mix these up and put some sugar through it. Just because the apples and the rhubarb are both a little tart. And a little bit of lemon juice just for extra flavour. We mix that all around really well. Make sure the sugar is well dispersed. And then we're going to pour all of this into our baking dish. And it's a very generous quantity and it will look like it's too much but it cooks down. We will stop that there because we've got a little more than we really need, but we can put that in a small little pie dish. Now, the crisp or the crumble bit, very simple. You just need a cup of rolled oats, a cup of flour, and you can use whatever flour you like, and it can even be gluten-free flour. Mix it around. Then we can add three tablespoons of brown sugar, a little bit of salt, and we have a combination of spices, cinnamon, allspice, all and nutmeg. Make sure you spread, mix that well. And then we are going to add in five tablespoons of melted butter. And then all of that needs to be combined really well. surprising how far the butter will go and then we're going to spread this over the top of our fruit and press it down really firmly and there you go that is all ready to go into the oven And here we go. And there we go. Cooked for about 35 to 40 minutes until it goes lightly brown on top. And the fruit should be bubbling around the edges. Long Valley Orchard also has a long-standing legacy in Jaredale going back to the late 1950s. They now produce three types of apples, a large selection of nectarines, and a smattering of other farm direct fruit and vegetables. So Alyssa, what type of apples are we using today? Well, they're fresh Granny Smiths that were picked from the orchard yesterday. So fresh farm direct. That's terrific. And we can do that every week at the farmer's market. <laughs> That's right. Long Valley was actually started in 1955 and is still a proudly family owned and operated business and they are at the SJ Farmers Market every Saturday morning with Good their job. fresh produce. Thanks Alyssa. Okay. And these are our finished dishes. The ratatouille is ready to go over couscous or rice or polenta 
And here is your finished rhubarb and apple crisp, all ready to go. It just needs a little cream, a little yogurt, or a little ice cream. There you go, SJ. We hope that this video will help you make some healthy food choices and give you a better understanding of where our food comes from. We're really lucky to have so many wonderful producers right here in our Shire. And you can buy any of these featured ingredients at the SJ Farmers Market, which is held weekly on every Saturday morning in Mundajong. We'll see you there.